Hey gang, welcome back for more Final Fantasy Tactics. Let's uh, let's go to Luna Castle for a cutscene. What errand brings you to Lionel? I am Agrius Oaks, a knight of Lions Guard of the Lions Guard. My companions and I have journeyed from Orbone Monastery, seeking sanctuary by the grace of Saint Ajora. I beg you, lay open your gate. The graces of Saint Ajora are keeping his eminence here. All who seek the graces are given like treatment. The gates of Lionel stand open to them. Raise the gate. All right, there you go. If you punch that thing, the gate opens. There he is, Cardinal Delacroix, Delacroix, Croix, Croix, how do you want to say it? I see Lady Agrius. In such circumstances as this, I am fain to lend you whatever help I can. I shall dispatch a courier to Malone at once. High Confessor Marcel will have this news from my own hand. I will expose Duke Lark's misdeeds and ensure that no harm befall you, Princess. Your Eminence. Think you the High Confessor will hear our plea? Fear not, dear lady, you are in my care now. Princess Ovelia can scarce feel at ease while those tasked with her safety are vexed with such worriment. You may enjoy the comforts of the castle, wanting though they are, while we await a reply from Malone. You are most gracious, Eminence, thank you. So long as Saint Ajor is our guide, we have not to fear, child. As for you, my young machinist, I have given consideration to your troubles as well. I will send a hand-picked company of my finest men to Goog to put an end, Gaug, Goog, to put an end to this Bert trading company. Thank you, your eminence. Conditioned upon this, I would hear the reason they chose to pursue you and your father. That is, I mean to say, it's not... Come, come, mayhap this will give voice to your words. Oh, oh, what's this? A crystal? You are familiar with the legend of the Zodiac Braves? In my youth, I often heard a fanciful tale of that name at Mass. Was this surely Lady Agrias? You do not avert that the church would mislead its flock? No, no, of course not, Your Eminence. Long ago, before the mountains had ceased their wandering and struck their roots into the earth, the Lukavai held dominion over the world. Twelve heroes there were who came forward to challenge these Lukavai. In a long and bitter struggle, they succeeded in driving the Lukavai to the spirit world and Ivalice again new peace. The twelve each bore an oresite crystal embezzled with the house of the night sky. And so in time, they became known as the Zodiac Braves. Even after, when Discord and Strife paid visit to the Halls of Men, they would return to save us once more. You have clearly been a most apt pupil, Princess. Elder Simon himself instructed me at Orbon, which reminds me of another thing he said. Saint Ajor walked with the Twelve, and together they saved Ivalice from ruin. We call the Crystals of the Twelve the Zodiac Stones. The stone you see before you now is a stone from that very legend. Orsight? It exists? I did not think it possible. Or that it held the sacred power to keep the Lukavai at bay, eh? I confess I feel some power deep within, but my eyes see only a common crystal. Mustadio, are you well? The color has left your face. You have seen a stone like this one beneath Goog, have you not? Gaug, Goog. Machines whose fire have long since guttered out, strew, strewn in the tunnels beneath the city. Lie strewn out in the tunnels beneath the city. But pass that stone near them, and you can hear them stir. Then Bert seeks the Orosite, eh? Is this guy Canadian? I do not know what power these zodiac stones hold. I only know that Ludovic Bert hopes to find some way to harness this power and make a fearsome weapon. My father would not give them the stone, so they took him instead. 
Put your worries from your mind, my young machinist. The church will see this matter is dealt with. Our forces will strike and wrest the stone from their heads. Hands. Of course, your eminence. I will join the company that makes for Goog. Gaug. Thank you, Ramzo. We would never have succeeded in reaching his eminence in the car. We never would have, have succeeded in reaching his eminence. The cardinal without you, Ramza. You have my thanks as well. I can only wish you well. Small aid, I know. Your words are all the aid I could ever ask. And like that, Agrius and Ovelia leave the party. So I was very sure to uh, strip them. Strip them of uh, all their armor before they left. Uh, Agrius, I guess I had already stripped. Um, I had already stripped Ovilio. All right, so not much changed here um, since the last fight, but we have more story, I do think, to hear. So let's go to the tavern. Let's do some rumors. In the wake of the king's demise, the Duke's widespread present revolt, Prince Ovilio kidnapped. All right, Legend of the Zodiac Braves. Long ago, before Ivalice was united as it is today, the land was divided into seven kingdoms, Altenia, Fovaham, Lionel, Limberry, Lasalia, Galeone, and Malone. Each kingdom clashed with others in an endless effort to expand its own territory. The conflict continued for centuries until a brave and ambitious young king appeared in Malone. This king dreamt of uniting all of Ivalice under his hand, but such feats are not with ease achieved. Turning to ancient tomes and dark magics found within, he summoned a demon from the netherworld to do his bidding. But once unleashed, the demon could not be controlled. It slew the king and set out to destroy the world of men. Twelve brave warriors were gathered to slay the demon and the foul horrors that it had summoned. They soon defeated the horrors and banished the demon back to the netherworld. These twelve warriors each carried with them a crystal engraved with the sign of the Zodiac and so became known as the Zodiac Braves. The Zodiac Stones. Oh, zodiac stones. These crystals are said to date from the age of myth. Each bears the mark of a sign of a zodiac, leading them to be called zodiac stones. They are thought to harbor divine power, which allowed the zodiac braves to perform astonishing miracles. Their last appearance in historical records dates from the time of Saint Ajora. Since then, the zodiac stones have remained hidden from mortal sight. But we just saw one. Mustadio claims he has another. Um, the Bear Trading Company, a successful trading company based in the merchant city of Wargirlis, has garnered the favor of the populace by donating generously to bridge and road building projects as well as to local orphanages. But not all of the talk surrounding this company is favorable. Many say the true source of the trading company's wealth is the most, is of a most unsavory nature, opium smuggling, slave trading, and even murder most foul. How about that? So, there's a... There's a, my little carrot. Please find my darling pet. She has been missing for a number of days, and I am beside myself with worry. I will reward anyone who finds her. She is a Marlboro. The, that, probably supposed to say, that answers to the name of carrot. So, if you play Final Fantasy XII, uh, this sounds very familiar to you. Of course, Final Fantasy XII takes place well before um, this game. Yeah, Hunter Gill, that's fine. So we're gonna send Leonard. Then you got, you're like, Jason, what are you doing? We're gonna send Sinowin, Senowin, Sinowin, and Pino. And we're gonna say, ready. And we're gonna send them for 17 days. 16 days. Yes. Go find Carrot, guys. Go find him. All right, so the next fight should be an easy one even though I just sent my three strong units and we don't have Agrius anymore and you're just like Jason you're, you're a madman what are you doing so I just need to make real sure of something before we go in so Alicia is a monk with fundaments okay that's probably fine all right Lavian has that the black Shokovo deny Leonard, Eldred, Arnold. Okay, and I have Arnold. 
it's annoying. You know. All right, I think we're good. I think I know what I'm gonna do. And uh, let's just check real quick the uh, the outfitter. See if there's any. Uh, as my I now have almost eighty thousand. Uh, let's just see if there's anything worth buying. Optimize. A lightning bow is plus two, so that's better than the longbow. So yeah, we'll get one. It's three thousand, whatever. Um, Arnold, you're fine with what you got. It's the best we can get. Lad, the mad lad. Giant's axe. No axes suck. So you can see it had high damage. His, his weapon attack went up to twelve, but the damage from axes is randomized. It can be a high or a low, and uh, I just don't like the low. And then Mustadio, you're good here. I don't mind him pistol. No, okay, we're good. So just three thousand, that's fine. We'll buy it. Say okay. There you go. And then, uh, I think it's fine for what I want to do. So let's go into this fight. Bam! All right. So I can bring. My boy Ramza, who I should have done something else with, but it's fine. Uh, we can bring... No, we're going to skip Eldred. He's uh, my worst unit. Arnold, the chemist. Uh, and I can bring three others, eh? So Lavian, I think. Alicia. And... We're gonna, okay, so actually Alicia, we're going to put here. And we're gonna bring, he's only level five, but I don't care, because this is what I wanna do. So this might be a huge mistake, but I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be very, very fine. I just wanna show off some cool stuff here in what I think is an easy fight. Just when I thought this Fen could grow no fowler. Okay. Solid footing scarce enough and rain to rob us of that. Be careful. So it's raining. There's these marshes. If you step in this water, you're poisoned. You gain poison affliction. So you have to make sure you don't step in these. All right, Stato's gonna move forward and do nothing. Ramza is going to metal. He's going, so he has steel. New ability for Ramza, steel. What's it do? Bravery plus five. And remember, one of those is permanent. So we're gonna start doing this for Ramza. Makes himself uh, feel brave. So for the fight now, his bravery is plus one. We're going to mount the Shokobo. Bam. And Ramza is now riding the Shokobo. And uh, we say, okay. And we wait in place. Now, I lose a unit, I'm pretty sure. What do you have? You're the one with items. Do you have Phoenix down? You don't even have Phoenix down. So uh, this, in general, was just a big mistake. But um, again, I think it's a pretty easy fight. So we're going to wait in place. You don't have item. You have fundaments. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're going to wait in place. Here we go. He walks forward. These guys have a little bit of range. And then uh, floating eye. So these enemies uh, are like, and like the ghosts are undead, which means, which means this is risk. This is risk because uh, I'm pretty sure this is my only guy with revive <laughs> in this fight. So, but he can hit. So, oh, there's a thing in the way, so he can't hit. Okay. Okay. What do you got? You got white magics? What do you got? You got cure? Only 20 damage. Uh, and he's about to have a turn. So, uh, we're just going to defend and wait in place now I've never 
rode the Chocobo in uh, this kind of uh, environment before. Okay, there you go. Ectoplasmum, there's an attack. 10 damage, because he's defending. Not bad. I'm more worried about these other guys, and these guys have teleport, and they're floating, so they don't get poisoned. And they, you know, they're a fly around. This guy can fly. He can get poisoned, but he won't. He's going to be smart about it. Okay, so. Um, we're going to position ourselves here. I'm going to say wait, and uh, wait in place. You're going to do the same thing over here. Oh, wait. Did she actually get in front? She could. All right, let's go punch this dude. Say, okay. And the other thing is because they're all monsters. So they all have... <laughs> they all have counter, which is, is super annoying. Thankfully, he didn't counter. Wait in place. All right, Mustadio, what do you got for me? Seal evil, buddy. Let's go. Stone, seal evil? Yes. All right. So Mustadio has the ability to turn undead into this. All right, so now Ramza has the move of the Shokobo. Which is pretty cool. And the black Shokobos, you remember that the description of the yellow Shokobo of Boko was he can't, uh, he can't, um, he can't fly. Flightless birds. But the black Shokobos, as you can see, just flew. So we're going to do that, and we're going to say attack this dude. 74. 36. All right, there you go. And that's what happens with the lightning bow, which I guess I did put... Oh, that's right. I bought a lightning bow. So Rams has a lightning bow and lightning proc, and we killed it. So that's good. All right. Okay. Okay. Come on the land. Beautiful. All right. Chop. Okay, he hits kind of hard, but I have chakra, so that's good news. Move. So... Move over here. Say, okay. I still think I can't hit anybody. I cannot hit anybody. That's okay. And I'm also splitting the party, which is a bad idea. But, uh, alright. You know what? Just top yourself up on health. It's as good a plan as any. As we wait for these guys to get closer. You're going to go behind for the guaranteed hit. We should be able to punch this guy down pretty good. Attack. Only 27. So... <laughs> Because it's only 27, instead I'm going to use a potion, because that's three more damage. Because healing items kill the undead. So there you go. This guy is going to move around. Do nothing. You're going to go for the side hit. Say okay. He's still doing okay on health. Attack him. 27 again. Bam. There's a counter, but it missed, thankfully. Okay. Stadio, what do you got for me? Some more seal evil? Nope, just a regular attack. That's okay. <coughs> Ramza, let's fly this bird. So cool when that happens. Say okay. And you're going to attack. 55. 98. Attack him. 48 damage. No proc. That's okay. And you wait. Alright. He comes forward. So like I was trying to say before, I've never been riding a Shokobo. I think Ramza took the damage instead of the Shokobo. I've never been riding a Shokobo when they're so low level. Um, chop. No counter. He's going to run away. Can't run away too far. Uh, I'm just going to use a potion because it's going to be 100% hit. Say okay. Act. Item. Potion. On him. 100% hit. He goes down. 
Because he has a chance to dodge the punch, but he did not dodge the item usage. All right. Chemist, you've been pretty useless so far, not gonna lie. Um, no, I don't wanna move there because it's depth one. So you're just going to, uh, I guess you're just gonna defend again. Uh, yeah, defend again and then wait in place. Super useless, chemist. Well, you, you, you took that one hit for me, so I guess not super useless, but kind of useless. Bam. So the only thing, though, about undeads is that when their counter reaches zero, they have a chance to revive. Okay. Defending again. Good job. Not taking a lot of damage. Mustadio, what do you got for me? You're going to go after him for sure. All right, all right, we're down to two enemies and uh, Yes, please get in range of all right. Rams is definitely taking the hits here Act attack You And there's the proc and then you run away because you can with the bird so this is some uh, some good strats you have here with yes okay so he's close he's gonna attack that's fine because I should be able to attack him as well and uh, oh yes let's cross the, look at that jump let's cross the water you go here you say act you do you have chakra you have cycle so you'll use a potion on yourself say okay perform there you go you'll move closer to the action say okay and you have uh, Chakra, though, I'm pretty sure. You have Cyclone also. Uh, okay. I haven't taught either of them Chakra yet. <laughs> now, so here's the fun thing. So here's what I've been trying to show off this whole time. Phoenix down. It's a 0% though, right? Yeah, you're 0%. Because he's behind the thing. But this guy is right here. It's a 100% insta-kill. Beautiful. And uh, move back. Okay, you're out of the way. Mustadio, Mustadio, put this to bed. Good job, Mustadio. There you go. So, like I said, easy fight. Um, we brought the B squad, and uh, that's the squad I've been using for my random battles, and of course, they're much tougher in the random battles. <laughs> Much, much tougher, but there you go. Mustadio, are you hurt? No worse for the wear. The channel shore lies just beyond the fen. Gaug is not far. Goog? Gaug? I'm going to say that every time. The battle is won. 8,000 gil. And uh, yeah, totally worth getting that bow for Ramza. <laughs> totally worth it. There you go. Easy peasy. We'll just go back here. Because that's where we're going. So that was one, two. And now I have to do 14 more. So I'll probably just do uh, this seven times. Over here. And then back here. So that's the chance of seven random battles. <laughs> but uh, that's what we got to do. So that was it. That was easy. And then the next time you guys see me, uh, we'll be back over here. And uh, we'll head to Gaug, Goog. The clockwork city of Goog which in the original one was Gaug Machine City, which is why I keep saying that. But I guess it's the clockwork city of Gaug. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Thanks for watching.